I am Joven and this is my wife Anita and we're right now here in Boracay Island, Philippines in West Visayas area of the country and uh, we are, are running a ministry called the Strong Roots Ministry. Um, Strong Roots Ministry is uh, dedicated towards helping especially the young people here in the island uh, concerning their education and the health care of the community. Uh, right now we're also running a small guest house uh, that we allow um, the chance of getting employment from the local people within our community. I think my most enjoyable moments were being with the children. They were just so joyful to be around. They were happy that we were playing with them, happy to just be spending time with them, playing games, reading books, doing crafts. It was definitely the most enjoyable moments of our trip is spending time with the children. With Strong Roots, it's just so hard to explain how many people they have impacted. The life skills they've given their staff from teaching them to cook in the kitchen and hiring them to the students. Um, just giving them, giving them that hope. And I can't imagine, I can't imagine where this community would have been without Jovan and Anita. So the impact of rebuilding the house, um, it was basically, the original house was built directly on the ground. Uh, so we built, you know, it's not any bigger, but we raised it off the ground so it'll be cleaner for the family and ultimately they'll be healthier because of it. So. We went to um, the Motag Museum and it had um, basically what the way of life would be for the Filipino family or community in the 1930s. So um, we looked at some traditional ways that they built a Kubo or a house and then how they cooked and we got to ride a Carabao um, which they would use in the field, it's like a big ox, um, and they showed us how they grow rice, and we got to plant some rice, and then went right through the process of threshing rice, uh, and, and it, uh, it was pretty fun. And then at the end, they, they had elders that work there, um, and they just showed us uh, basically the way of life, and then they sang us a song at the end, which I, I thought was really nice. Right now, we are in need of a building. Uh, primarily use is for um, for church. We have no place for a sanctuary right now. We're using the roof deck of of the hotel. The second part is that the community does not have any public library right now. We are running a uh, a mobile library, but it still is not good enough. Especially we can't help the children when it comes to certain areas. Again, when it, when the weather is really bad or it's at nighttime. And the third one is to actually open up a community center um, that allows us to be able to, to challenge and to work with the adults in the community, whether it be the challenge of teaching them relationship issues or, or child care issues, or even when the community goes on and have a specific meeting, at least they'll have a place where they can um, join together and have a, a place for discussion and meeting groups. So we had the opportunity to go to library a few times and sit on the side of the road and look at a book with a kid or read a story to them and they just love not only spending the time with them but to be able to look at the English books. So one of the things that we wanted to do was just to hang out with the kids and uh, the sponsor kids and, and other kids in the community as well and so we, uh, we rented uh, Echo Village uh, for a couple hours and um, just played a bunch of games. It was just, just fun getting to know the kids and to, to spend time with them and just to see their excitement and, and the joy that that brings to them and to us as well. Playing with the kids, uh, I guess they just don't get that a lot, or at least not from the guys around here. But uh, So being a big giant comparatively, they, they like to climb and run around with me. So yeah, they. I just like wrestle with them, throw them around, they they love every minute of it. <laughs> yeah, I think it was totally worth the investment to come out and invest in the lives of these, these people, and particularly children, and uh, just be Jesus' light for them um, and give them some encouragement. They don't get to play with adults very much because adults are very busy um, trying to earn money to, to, to live, basically. So uh, just to go out to the beach and 
throw some kids around in the water and uh, make sandcastles and uh, it was fun. It was really good. You can send all the money in the world, it really would not help us at the end of the day. It would just provide the resources. But one of the integral parts of what we need here is personnel. My mother always said there is no impact without contact. And if you're, gonna, if you're just going to send the money, people would not really realize that there's people across the globe that actually care. And people that comes in here will actually tell people their story and they can actually say, we do care, that is why we're here. And the gospel teaches us that we are to love these people. And, and, and giving money is not just the easiest way to show love. That is tangible. You want it to have the people to actually be here and actually feel and touch another individual for them to say, God loves you and that's why we are here.